Hey YouTube, Red Eyes 115 here, bring you another Legacy of the Duelist, well, Link Evolutions video. Well, I just literally tried to record this video using OBS, well, Streamlabs OBS, and it was just too laggy and choppy. So here I am, coming in again, basically going back in this video and recording my voice, and also to give you a few updates on what's going on in, not Link Evolutions, but in Duel Links. Because recently last night the KC Cup ended, we got the tag team event, so another opportunity to get a little bit of gems before we possibly get another box. We also got, let me think here, we also got some leaks about some cards added, which was Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, um, the Green Mech Knight, don't remember its name, but if you don't know about Mech Knights, they basically are archetype that says, hey, two cards lined up with each other in the same room. Okay, special summon me to the zone on your end that basically lines up with them. They just an archetype that's crazy mad with the special summon game. And also basically say your opponent monsters can't do nothing if they're in the same column. And same with the spells and traps. So Mech Knights, if all of their support comes to Duel Links, they're going to be crazy. But anyway, let's go away. And also, new character IDs were added. More, pretty sure it's going to be for a Duelist Chronicle event coming to Duel Links. And that one of them, hey, congratulations, Watch 7 We got Misty added to the foul. So, all that time everyone was spamming at Misty Treadwell, you got to wish. I wish it was unlockable though. But anyway, let's get into the duel here. I've been basically using Trick Stars to get through the other campaigns. There's literally only been one deck that slowed me down and well, the Arc 5 campaign, which was the Performance user because they, apparently they really good at negating damage. And also, by the way, if you see me like lagging and the controller not moving or the controller just having a stroke, it's literally just because OBS and Remote Play did not want to work well together. But anyway, the play I did right here basically was activated the light stage for Trick Stars, which deal 200 damage every time a Trick Star monster activates his effect and deal damage. But the play here was basically to special summon Lycoris, bounce, I forgot her name, Lily Bell back to my hand. Then I believe Lily Bell's effect triggers her and I play her back on the field because of her effect. Oh yeah, and I was basically sewing off the fact that Lily Bell can count for one of Lycoris' effects. Well, that works for any trick star. You can basically use Lycoris' effect to get two copies or one copy of her out for free. But we're going to just take out his Goki. A trick star did damage to so our field spell deals 200. He adds a card, or uh, Lycoris effects activate, he takes another 400 there. Mm -hmm. Never mind, 800. I had my mouth mm -hmm. off here. But anyway, did more damage there. That's another 200 off. And then we're gonna pass the turn, mm -hmm. I believe we did. Yep. Yeah, I basically have to recall what I actually did and what was my thought process because of how OBS was reacting to this. But I might go back to the regular OBS to record these so my webcam can actually be on the screen. Okay, our opponent decided to call the Haunted. See, I... No, we did not activate the Breakthrough skill yet. Okay, he summoned that Goki and this is where we activate the breakthrough skill because we did not want to use lose our Lycoris. So he activated breakthrough skill, negated his monster's effect which stopped him from bouncing, well no it didn't stop him from bouncing something to his hand but it stopped him from special summoning. So our field spell gave him damage and both of our Lycoris gave him damage because he added a card to his hand. Your monster effects negated. He's going to go ahead and take out one of our Lycoris, but that's completely fine. Because I believe literally in this one turn, what? No, I did attack, I believe. I'm about to take out the rest of his life points, but for safety precautions, we activated the first effect of Light Stage, which is probably why it's down to one. Uh, where we locked down his back row, and he's not able to activate that card now. We're going to change our Lily Bell to attack mode. And I believe just to do a little bit extra damage, we summon our Nightshade 
Then we go for the Link 1 play. And now that we got our... I forgot this trick star. Oh, Bloom out in play. We can actively activate its effect which forces our opponent to draw a card. And then we're going to activate our Night Sage effect in the graveyard which is special summoning if it is used for a Link summon like we just did. And I believe I was trying to think if what the game was trying to ask me to do and then I remember oh it's trying to give me the Hattifer Breakthrough skill. So Night Sage back. The, our Link monster does nothing unless that monster gets attacked but we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I believe I go into the battle phase from here or either go into my Link 2 play. Yeah, I'm going into the Link 2 play, which is basically bringing out Holy Angel. And now that Holy Angel out, we're going to our battle phase and having our Lily Bell attack our opponent directly and have a tree that has effect damage. I keep forgetting that it's telling me that if it breaks you still. But since damage was done by Trickstar, our opponent takes 200 points of damage. Lily Bell's effect activates. We get to bounce back our Lycoris to our hand. We get to activate actually this Lycoris effect. Bounce back the Lily Bell. Say no. And then place her in Holy Angel's other link marker zone, which triggers Holy Angel's effect. Our opponent takes 200. Figure the field spell, take 200. And Holy Angel gains attack points for that. And since he was added back to our hand, her effect activates, so we get to special summon her back to the field for free. And then I think I Holy Angel had either exactly enough or I went for another direct attack. Okay, yeah, we went for another direct attack. They took 200, and that was game. So, yeah, right now, Trickstars is a deck that I'm literally just using to try to get through the other campaigns and build other decks. Like, our poster boy, Red Eyes Black Dragon, I'm working on building his deck in the game. I'm working on building my real-life Light Sworn deck in the game. But anyway... Let's go into the uh, game two. Oh, yeah, let me think about what other cards I'm thinking about making a deck profile for. Of course, Dragon Mage, but I won't be able to do that until I get Eye Unlocked at the end of this campaign. Uh, let's see. Oh, Prank Kids. And there's an archetype that I believe that... Not Holly Angel. That Blue Angel changes to once he becomes Blue Maiden. I probably have a picture of one of the cards up in a minute when I remember the name of the archetype and during editing. But yeah, that's what to play. But in this hand, we didn't really have much to go off of. So we went ahead and played or, oh yeah, that's the one that I definitely had trouble pronouncing that name. And I pronounced it or attempted to pronounce it in the first recording, but uh, Okay, so the computer went ahead and played Rocket, tried to go for a direct attack. We said no, but the computer decided to cock block us here and destroy his monster, so our mask of cylinder just became worthless. And yeah, still not activating the breakthrough skill because it won't matter. But we passed the turn. He activated his field spell, gets the monster he just killed off back. But since he did that, he do not get to special summon a rocket monster from his deck. Now it's back to us. Okay, we got Candina. So I believe I play the Candina now. Or either I'm considering what to play. Because I know I could use Candina to get the light stage, but we went with live stage instead. Don't need to activate breakthrough skill because against rockets until they actually get their monster out breakthrough skill is useless But we're using the effect of our field spell to get a token out just because our opponent have a face down in the back row And we're going to go into our link one play once again trickstar bloom But this time we are not going to use trickstar blooms effect because Honestly, it's pointless to use well Lycoris on the field because we're not going to get any damage off this time so I believe now since I have a Link Monster, I went ahead and used my Field Spells effect again and got another token. And then I believe I went to Holly Angel for my Link 2 play.
And then after that, I believe I finally went to my normal summon to deal 200 points of damage. And I think I'm right here just still considering what to do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, summoning Candina. My opponent take 200 damage for that. And our Holly Angel also get attack boost. But our Candina gets to go into the deck and search for us. Still not activating breakthrough skill. Come on, stop asking me. So we're going to go ahead and get the Lily Bell. Not Lily Bell. Lycoris. Uh... I went ahead and did this even though I probably should it. Yeah, that's remote place best now when you see it go all over the place. But anyway, we went ahead and go back to deal some extra damage for when we do pass the turn to our opponent. Go to the battle phase and get rid of his monster. Alright, and then I believe here we pa just, yeah, we went ahead and just passed the turn because there really wasn't much we could do. His rocket's effect activated since it was destroyed during that turn. He got special summon. I still am not activating the breakthrough skill. There's really no point in activating it against Rocket. He had the call to his hand, so it takes 200, or Holy Angel gains 200. He used the field spell effect to get another special summon off. And then I believe there's one more special summon he's planning to do here. Because I remember he does go into a link 3. Oh no, he went ahead and went for the battle. So I think I went ahead and activated the honest in my hand. So he went ahead past the turn, but since this monster did die. He does get the spell summon. I think I was having remote play issues here. There we go. Okay, he activated another copy of the field spell so he can go ahead and get its effect off again to the special summon. But since he did activate the card, Candena's. I butchered her name. Uh, effect activate, he takes 200. Then he activates that card, that's another 200 points of damage. Since he is bringing it back with an effect of a spell card, he does not get the special summon. He takes another 200 though, like I said before. He uses his normal summon, finally. And then, yeah, here's the Link 3 play. And I think this is why I finally use Breakthrough skill, just because of the fact that I do have a rocket deck it's not the best I gotta wait till I actually act or unlock Ferris's packs so I can get more of the rocket cards but anyway back to our turn we drew into another honest I think just to wrap things up I went ahead and played the once again I'm trying not to butcher the name oh no I didn't I activated the field spells twice just to burn my opponent a little bit more as you know, since the monster was summoned to the zone, Holly Angel points to my opponent takes 200. I activate the breakthrough skill just to be cautious because I do run that card in my rocket deck and I believe it has some type of screw off effect if I use a spell of trap card, which he could have done there, but I kind of get it. It would have been slightly pointless. But anyway, now I think I'm going to a link to play here. Yep, I do. And just to summon Trickstar Black Cat Glove, I believe the name was. Oh, Cat Bat. But anyway, he takes 200, she gains 200. Cat Bat's effect activate, but to also lower his monster attack points a little bit more, we're going to go ahead and activate our other Trickstar on our hands effect. It's plus to summon to her zones, so his monster loses 400 attack points. And then I believe we went ahead and went to another Link Summon play just to deal even more damage to our opponent. I believe we went to the Link 3. Because I was considering going into the Link 4, but I realized I have monsters pointing to the zones he's pointing to, so I would not get her burn effect off. So yeah, I went to the Link 3 and we went to a Foxglove. 
which sorry for the pause there I, I still got the last part of her name but anyway she gets special something to the zone how the angel points to then we're going to go ahead and activate Holy Angel effect, take 200, gain 200. Her effect activates, I don't recall what she deals damage for, but the opponents take damage for the link summon anyway. And then from here, I believe we, no, we go into one more link play, I believe. That's remote play screwing up. We go into the link two, I believe. Yeah. Crimson Heart. Which would be normally a life point game, but since we just literally trying to wrap this up, we really didn't care for the life points here. But Holy Angel deals 200, we gains 200. Then finally, I believe I go into the battle phase. Yes, okay. And then from there, we attempt to attack with Holy Angel, but our opponent activates Mirror Force. Now, if we didn't have Holly Angel there, we would have lost both of our monsters and would have been screwed. But since I'm a hateful person, I activated Honest and told him to screw off. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm probably going to record a few more after these just to unlock a pack because I was playing this yesterday on my Switch and I believe there's a pack unlock coming soon for me. I believe it's Soul Burning, my next pack to unlock. But anyway, Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.